A long, long time ago, in a far-off little village that seemed almost like a secret, a young girl named Mary lived. She shared a small, cosy house with her loving parents, and together they managed to lead a simple but happy life. Mary was very creative, despite being very poor. She adored painting and drawing. She would express her creativity using any available material, including bare walls, tree bark, mud, and even fallen leaves. One day, as Mary was using a stick to draw in the sand, an elderly man showed up. He watched her closely as she created intricate patterns. Impressed by her talent, he approached the girl, admiring her skills. The old man, who was actually a wizard in disguise, handed Mary a golden ornate paintbrush. This is a magic paintbrush, my girl. Whatever you paint with it, it will come to life, he said. Mary was shocked. The old man urged her to give it a try despite her hesitation. This gift is for you, he said with a soft smile. Make good use of it. Then he disappeared without a trace. With the paintbrush in hand, Mary drew a bird. To her astonishment, it sprang from the ground, flapped its wings and flew away. Overwhelmed, she dashed home to share this miraculous incident with her parents. Having experienced it for many years, the old wizard cautioned Mary about the magic paintbrush. Magic is a powerful tool, dear. Use it wisely for the good of all, he said. Mary promised to heed his words. The next day, Mary began painting for the village. She painted plump chickens for the poor, ripe fruits for the hungry, warm clothes for the cold, and toys for the children. Word of Mary's benevolence and the magic paintbrush spread across the land. Soon the greedy emperor heard of it. He desired the brush not to help others, but to increase his wealth. The emperor sent his soldiers to seize the paintbrush. Mary refused to give it up, so they took her to the palace. The emperor ordered Mary to paint him a mountain of gold. Knowing the emperor's intentions, Mary took a different approach. She painted a roaring sea around the gold, protecting it. Furious, the emperor demanded Mary paint a ship to reach the gold. Mary obliged, but as soon as the emperor boarded the ship, it set sail on its own. It sailed farther and farther, eventually disappearing over the horizon, taking the emperor with it. The emperor was lost at sea, and the kingdom was free from his tyranny. Mary, with her magical paintbrush, assured the people's welfare. She painted food, clothes, and homes for everyone. Mary became the beloved hero of the kingdom, but she never let the power of the magic paintbrush corrupt her. She remembered her parents' wise words and used the brush only for the betterment of others. As time passed, Mary grew old. She continued to use the magic paintbrush selflessly, improving the lives of the villagers. The enchanting tales of the magic paintbrush became part of the kingdom's folklore. Mary knew she couldn't live forever, so she decided to pass the magic paintbrush to someone who she believed would use it wisely. She chose a young girl, Lee, known for her kindness and integrity. She taught Lee everything about the magic paintbrush. When she was confident of her understanding and commitment, she handed her the precious implement. Mary's heart was at ease, knowing that the village was in good hands. With the passing of the seasons, Mary's time came. Before leaving, she painted a beautiful sunset, her final masterpiece. As the sun set, Mary's soul departed, leaving behind a legacy of love, compassion and wisdom. Lee carried on Mary's legacy, using the magic paintbrush for the welfare of the villagers. The village thrived under her watch, and the legend of the magic paintbrush continued to inspire generations. The magic paintbrush stood as a testament to the power of creativity, kindness and courage. It served as a reminder that it's not the magic in the brush that matters, but the heart wielding it.
Mary's story echoed across time, teaching everyone the importance of using one's gifts for the greater good. And so, the magic of the paintbrush lived on, spreading joy and prosperity, and reminding everyone of the girl with a golden heart.